Hi there and welcome to my kitchen. I want to share with you a little project that I love to do as a centerpiece. Whether it's a birthday at home during COVID or down the road you want something spectacular for a buffet, this is champagne and roses. So what you're going to need is, of course, a bottle of champagne. And I recommend champagne because you want to be 12.5% alcohol or higher. Some roses, and they don't have to be perfect. And a two liter container. So a, a container that you wash out and we're going to use that for our project. Okay, so what you need to do is take that container, a two liter, and I've just used a serrated knife to cut the top off. Try and leave it as high as you can. And the other thing you have to do, and I did this a little earlier, is wash it out with soap and water because you want it to be immaculate on the inside. So we're going to do that. We're going to take our champagne. Thank you, Anne-Marie. Uh, make sure there are no fingerprints on the bottle. And actually, my label had peeled a bit, and I even colored it in with a Sharpie just to make it look pristine. I'm going to put that into the container, and then we're going to fill it with tap water. dum dee dum dee dum and you don't actually fill it totally to the top. And I'll tell you why. What we're gonna do next is we're gonna take some roses and, and you know, as soon as you put something heavier in water, it starts to spill over. So because it's winter and COVID, getting roses wasn't particularly easy. So what I did was, uh, you can find them at your grocery store often. And even if these ones are a bit tired, don't worry about it. Cause what I would recommend you do is just peel off any of the brown and for this project, it's actually nice if they're a little bit open. So find the length of a stem you like. I always cut them on the diagonal. And what you want to do is push them down into, whoopsies, the corners. Now I'm using uh, Sweetheart Roses, which are a lot smaller. I know you can get the big rosebuds and maybe you're just going to use one on each corner. But with the Sweethearts, I found that I could actually push them down and use quite a few. If the, uh, if the foliage looks really good, you can include that as well. And just push it down. You'll notice that the bottle is really tight and they stay. And fill it up and put in as many flowers as you can. And then once you've done that, I would top it with water. So it's right up at the, the top of the container and then into the freezer it goes. Now, because we live in Canada, some of us, we can just put this outside in a safe spot. Leave it overnight. And guess what comes next? I let mine sit outside for quite a while, so it's really frozen. So I'm going to just show you what it looks like. A lot of the time it just slides right out. And if it doesn't, you can also bathe it in a bit of warm water. But look at that. And how beautiful is that? This is the one we did yesterday together. And as you can see, these beautiful sweetheart roses just dancing around the pink champagne. I'm going to put it in a crystal bowl and fill it with strawberries or whatever you want. Uh, it can look really modern as well. And I would raise it on the table and have it uh, as a highlighted focal point for your, for your table. It is spectacular and get ready for people to give you a lot of compliments. And don't worry, you can still drink the champagne.